Yo, right, guys, how are you all doing? MJT Reviews. I'm back here again with another awesome kit review for you. Uh, just before I start this model review off, I'd like to give a shout out to Ashley and Ashley Sparhawk and PC Plug. I hope you guys are watching the videos. Um, just been having a, still been going on with the trouble, guys. Uh, I feel like it's never ending. Um, gonna have to sort a few things out. Obviously. Uh, you know, it's just been hell for the last couple of weeks now. It's just been absolutely hell, it's been atrocious. I just have so much stuff to deal with, guys, and that's hence the reason why I haven't been putting out the reviews. It's because I've had so much to do. But anyway, I hope you check out my remembrance videos uh, for the actual war um, for the veterans and the fallen. Plus, I did a lot for our country. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to be showing you. Um, a very special kit that I got not so long ago. Now I do have, I don't know if you watched um, a couple of my videos, I'll put it in the link description below if you haven't seen it. Um, I did buy a ZL1 Corvette Camaro, um, I believe it was all in black. Now I went back to my local home bargain store and then I saw this beauty and for you guys thinking that it cost a bomb, it didn't cost a bomb. Um, this kit only cost me a small amount, two ninety nine to be exact. Two ninety nine for a Mustang GT twenty fourteen, and just look at it. Very very nice. I just love it. Um, so as you all know, I do build cars, I do build ships, I do build all the other things, um, but. Because I've got so many kits now, I think it's time to just get them built and get them sorted. It's just because I just don't have the money to buy any more models at the moment. And um, I'm not going to be doing it for a while, so I might jump onto some other things. I'm not saying that I'm not going to buy models, guys. I'm, obviously, I'll still buy them, but it's not going to be for a while. So what I'm going to do... As when it gets to next year, I'm going to jump into RC, where I might be buying some radio-controlled stuff, or I might be doing more gaming reviews or explorations, things like that, and I might buy a few models in between, but they're only going to be small ones because I just can't afford it at the moment, guys. I've got too much stuff, and you know what, with Christmas coming on the way, and obviously models to send people that I did promise, and I am going to be sending them. So these people that want their models like PC Plod and um, Ashley Sparrowhawk, you will get them. I promise you will get them. I don't want to keep them. They're just in the cupboard, out the way, not being touched. It's just, with all these problems going on at the moment, it's just, oh, it's really ragging my brain. <laughs> and I hope you can understand that, guys. Uh, just going through so much trouble. It's, it's horrendous, guys. And sometimes I don't know what to do about it. Um, you know, if you live with really, really horrible neighbours, guys, it's one of those hard things to deal with. Um, and at the moment, I feel that kind of way. I feel, I feel like I can't do videos as much because if I'm doing a video, guys, and I'm putting out a review, you don't want to be hearing banging. You don't want to be hearing them banging the doors and slamming windows and whacking off the ceiling and stuff. Nobody wants to hear that through a video. And that's what they're doing 24-7 to me. Um, take, for example, yesterday. Um, I just put my hi-fi system on. And it was very, very low. And I was listening to some of my trance music. And a whack, whack off the ceiling straight away. It wasn't even loud, guys. The other, A few days before that, I was playing on my PlayStation 2. Gran Turismo 4. Very, very good game. So I love my car games. And uh, just as I put the intro on and it came onto the game, whack off the ceiling. It's like, to me, I feel as if they can bang, they can slam their windows, they can fight, they can argue, they can do anything they want in their flat. But I can't do anything I want in here. That's, I've told my house enough to this and I just feel like she's as much used to the chocolate fire guard. You know, it's just... You know, I, I just don't know what to do, and a lot of my pe friends and family keep saying, why don't I get a move away from the flat? Why should I? 
I've been living here for years and I've never had any trouble here until they moved in last year. Just been a total nightmare. But anyway, enough of that guys. I will try my best to get my reviews as much as I can done. If I can't do my reviews here, I will do them at my man's or I'll do them at my uncle's. That's not a problem guys. You know, it's just here is a problem at the moment. And I just want you all to understand that. But also I want you to understand that I will not stop doing this. I will not stop reviewing. I will do what I can to grow this channel. And at 370 subscribers guys, I am so amazed and I'm so thankful to each and every one of you guys. And it means so much to me. And that's all I can, that's all I can say guys. It just means the world to me. And I hope that you stay around, you stay tuned and you don't unsubscribe from me because I, I don't want you to do that guys I really don't if you want to do that then I'm sorry to see you go I really am but I hope you don't because there's going to be a lot more new things coming on this channel next year I guarantee you that and I promise that but uh, anyway guys um, let's get on with this Ravel Mustang 2014 Mustang GT um, I don't know why I said it twice there, but there you go. <laughs> um, but yes, this is a very nice model, guys. Um, it doesn't come with glue, and it doesn't come with decals. Um, you have to build this yourself. Um, so you have to provide your own glue. Um, but what I like about this model kit, guys, is the fact that it does have the lines there, but I might make it two lines instead of just one big thick line going through it. Which means I'm going to have to match the paint, which might be a bit difficult, um, but I could try. But what I might do also is I might do some blue going around here, then going around the doors here, and then around the back. You know, some little blue and white stripes maybe. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, guys. I just want to make it stand out and make it nice. Um, so on the back, it does have one, two, three, four five um, so it says it's got five sprues there with all your seats your engine work your steering wheel everything that goes on it you've got your back lights you've got your front lights you've got your alloy wheels um, so yes you do get a lot and the, the, the hood slash bonnet comes off and yes you can do it different colors so you don't particularly have to have it with the stripe on you can get rid of this stripe if you wanted to and you can paint it a different colour, the choice is yours. Um, so you do get uh, choices with that. So I'm going to show you what the kit's actually like, just so you all get a glimpse of the actual Mustang itself. So put that away. This is going to be a future kit. This is going to be something I do probably when I'm bored or probably when I've got no else to do. So <laughs> it's going to be one of those things really. Um, so that's what I mean. You, I've never used this color. This is called Testers. I've never used Testers color before. Um, I've always used Ravel or Humbrol. Um, so it could be quite good to see what happens when I get all of it done. So obviously you've got your engine work to start with. Um, got to paint your yeah, fan belts or pulleys and stuff. And you've got the exhaust pipe manifold there. Um, powered by Ford, I like that. <laughs> and then you've got to put all the other bits on as well, including the uh, the chassis and everything. So you've got the back, um, the uh, front, the front seat. Sorry, I don't know why I said back. But uh, you've got the side cards. You've got the actual um, instrument panel there, which is the dashboard. You've got the steering wheel. Um, Got the engine work to put in so it's, it's pretty straightforward guys it's really really good once you get all the engine work put in and you've got the wheel work to put in and you've got the uh the nice headlights to put in you know i presume you could put like a battery pack underneath the back of it and you could like make like a little switch so you could put lights in it which could be cool to see um but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Like I said, it might be a later project. I don't know when this one. Don't know. I don't, I, I just don't know when I'm going to be doing it. Um, but you'll all get to know anyway. But just look at the actual kit. 
It is plastic, unfortunately. People probably think it's metal, but it's not. It's uh, plastic. Um, the alloys are quite nice. I do like the alloys. They're quite nice for it. Um, so I'll just put that over there. And basically, these are your screws. So this is what you get with the screws. So there's your front headlights. You get your rubber wheels. You get your seats. You get the big, the big uh, metal rods that you can stick through the wheels. Um, for the uh, uh, for the back wheels to spin round, I presume. <laughs> I lost what I was going to say. Um, so there we go, guys. It's really, really cool. So you've got the engine work there as well, and then you've got the dashboard. So yeah. Looks like it's going to be a really, really good car to do, and I can't wait to get it done. Um, but like I said, you're going to have to bear with me, guys, because I don't know when I'm going to be doing this model. So it could be there for quite some time. I mean, I haven't done the Camaro yet, so that's going to be uh, going to be a good one to do, guys. So just bear with me on this model kit, yeah, because it will be done shortly. I might, I might do it next year. Yeah? I might, well. Like January time or February time, I might do them both. Um, who knows? So I just have to bear with me, guys. So basically, that is the uh, Mustang GT uh, 2014. So I hope you all like this review uh, of this very special car. If you want to go and get one of these model kits, guys, they are available in your local home bargain store. And uh, they are amazing value for 2 99 <laughs> And uh, you can purchase either your Mustang or you can purchase a Camaro. Who knows? Uh, the choice is yours. Um, so I hope you like this model kit review. If you're here for the first time, don't make it last time. It's all the channel's grown because of you guys. 370 subscribers I'm at now. I'm over the moon with it. I'm going to continue with it. There's going to be some gaming reviews I might do tonight uh, because I've got some really really good game re games to show you guys. I've got a really, really good Xbox 360 game that you're all going to want to see. Um, so that might be tonight. So stay tuned for that one. Um, it's just something different, guys. I'm just going to different my reviews a little bit. Um, even though the models are still going to be there. So like I said, guys, I'm not, I repeat, I am not giving up on my models. I'm just cutting down a little bit, that's all. Um, so, you know, there will be some models... In my videos so it doesn't matter what I do there'll still be a model that gets done guys and I promise you that um, I'm not fading away from models so don't think that I am doing that uh, because that will never happen because I'm a modeler and that's basically what I know myself what I am good at and I know that's what I'm staying at so anyway guys this is MJT reviews saying hope you enjoy your evening uh, Hope you carry on modeling. Don't give it up for anybody if it's your passion. You know, stay tuned to it, guys. Stay focused on what you want to do. You know, don't give it up for anybody. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. Stick to it. You know, don't let other people squash you down. Rise above it. And that's just my advice to all you out there that want to do your models. Just carry on doing them. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video that I put out. So thank you very much guys. Keep it MJT and I will see you later. Bye guys.